Hey y'all, Megan here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a super helpful tip um, when it comes to designing different templates or just Canva designs in general that involve multiple elements or multiple lines. So let's say you want to create um, some kind of like calendar template like this, or maybe a note um, like a printable notepad or even this like monthly budget checklist right here. That's also a good one that involves tables and lots of lines. So instead of having to eyeball these lines, I'm going to show you guys a super quick and efficient way to align lines and elements in Canva completely free. So if you liked today's video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit the big red subscribe button below and leave any comments, questions, suggestions, anything like that in the comment box for me and I will be happy to answer any questions y'all have for me. Um, also another thing before we get started, this tutorial does not require Canva Pro, but if you would like to try out Canva Pro completely free of charge for 30 days, make sure you use the link in my description box because I do have a free 30 day trial for those of y'all who are looking to just test it out for a little bit before you invest in it. So make sure to check that out as well as some of the other links in my description box that I think y'all will find helpful too. Um, so for this one, we're just gonna go ahead and create a standard letter size document. So in order to do that, you will go up here to create a design and we will go down here to custom size. If you tap this little box, you can change the pixels to inch uh, inches, wow, millimeters millimeters maybe oh my god i can't talk today all right pixels inches millimeters and centimeters wow okay change it to inches and we're going to do eight and a half by 11 and we're going to create our new design so we're going to wait for this to come up and once it comes up here we go with a blank template so what we're gonna do now is we can add a couple of lines, we can add a couple of elements, and I will show you guys exactly how this is done. So to find lines, we can go over here to the Elements tab, and honestly, everything you need in Canva is on this Elements tab. Up here is the Recently Used, down here is Lines and Shapes, we got graphics, photos, videos, audio, pretty much anything and everything. So you can always hit this, um, hit this option right here for a line, or you can just tap L on your keyboard and that's gonna bring up a line. So let's say you want to create like a printable notepad or something. I do actually have a video for that and I'll link it up here if you haven't taken a look at that. Um, but we're just gonna create a bunch of lines right here and I want them all spaced out evenly but this is what happens when you try to eyeball it. So I'm gonna move it around a little bit. Actually, this doesn't look that bad. Okay, so this might look very aligned to you, but I can just tell from looking at it that this space right here is smaller than like these spaces down here. Or maybe you have some graphics right here. So here's some funky stuff. So here's this. I actually like that. It's cartoonish. All right, so we got that. We got Little Red Riding Hood right here with our little Halloween basket. And then we've got the little ghost with his lollipop. And we'll put this superhero girl, I like her too. Oh, she's a ladybug. Okay, that's really cute. All right, so I'm gonna leave her right there. Obviously, these little characters are not aligned and neither are these lines. So what you're going to do to do this very quickly, we're going to highlight all of these lines. So you can click within this white box right here and left click with your mouse and drag this blue box across all of these elements. Or you can just one by one hit this top line and then um, hold down sh uh, shift on your keyboard and just tap these individually. 
And once you've got them selected, we're gonna go up here to position and you can align them all to the top. We don't wanna do that. You can align them to the middle. It's gonna be the same thing, don't wanna do that. And if you hit align to bottom, then it's going to align them to where the bottom line is. But we don't wanna do that. We just wanna create evenly spaced lines. So we're gonna go back to position. And for this one, you can hit either tidy up or vertically. If you tap vertically, then it's gonna create the same distance between each line and tidy up usually does it too. Um, so let me show you the difference between tidy up and space vertically. So let's say all of your, your lines are like slightly off. So let's just move some of these slightly out of the way. Okay, so if we, so if the lines look jumbled like this, then you can highlight them, hit position. And at this point you can hit, um, when you hit vertically, it just aligns them vertically. So now there's even space between all of these lines. Now to get them to line up to like the left or to the right or just tidied up, you would select them all, hit position and tidy up. So you don't have to do the vertical um, to tidy all these up. So here they are all jumbled again and we're just gonna do position and tidy up. And that's where they all go. Same goes for these elements right here. So um, if you highlight all of these, you can hit position, you can align them all to the left, but I don't want it to look so jangled. Um, so we're going to do, let's see, if we do vertically, then it's gonna do it like that. So if you need them spaced out evenly, like horizontally, instead of up and down like the lines, you'll just go to position, horizontal, or if they're really out of line like this, like the ladybug is up above everyone else, you can just hit position, tidy up, and there we go. This bear is smaller than the other elements, so I am gonna make him or her a little bigger. And I'm gonna go ahead and realign it. And that's how, you, um, that's how you align all the lines and the elements in Canva. Now, I'm not creating any kind of specific design right here. I just wanted to show you guys that because I literally did not know that until like probably two years into my Canva journey and it would have saved me a lot of headache because I used to make a lot of tables and I'll show you for instance. So let's say, uh, let's see, let's duplicate this and I'm gonna turn it around to 90 degrees. And I'm gonna move it and make it a little shorter. Okay, and then I'm gonna duplicate this again and drag it out here. So I used to make, um, so I used to make a lot of tables and instead of using the tidy up function, I would just eyeball it and That's not a good way to go about it. So I would literally sit here and eyeball this before I knew about the tidy up feature. So I accidentally pressed caps lock. So the one thing here, I did go over this in the table video um, and I will link it up here and in my description box. Um, make sure that you only highlight. So if you only want to tidy up these vertical lines, then only select the vertical lines because if you accidentally select one of the horizontal lines and you hit tidy up, it's gonna look all out of sorts. So make sure you only hit the lines that you want tidied up. And then the same also goes if you're making a design kind of like this, um, this calendar right here. So I'm gonna delete this table and I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna hit R on my keyboard and I'm going to duplicate this a few times. And all you have to do here 
is position, tidy up, and now you've got it done. Now if you hit position and horizontal, it will align them horizontally, but not like at the top or at the bottom. So they're all in a straight line. And then the same goes for vertically. It's not gonna do anything. So Tidy Up always does the job. Um, but I did wanna share that information with y'all today in case you had issues um, with creating your designs. I know that there is kind of a slight, lining, slight learning curve with Canva. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that helpful tip with you guys and show you how easy it is to align all the lines and elements in Canva without breaking your neck trying to do it other ways. Um, so again, if you liked today's video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Also hit the subscribe button below and I will see y'all again soon.